Act like you're trying to impress somebody and someone's asking you to show them your bicep. Flex that and really hold that flex. Hey man, Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. This video, I'm gonna tell you how to get some big arms. Here's the thing, how to get big arms with only one dumbbell. So yes, if you're traveling, then you wanna make sure you're still able to work out on the road. This is gonna allow you to carry a light dumbbell and still get great results. So you don't need a heavy dumbbell to do these exercises. I'm also gonna share a new technique with you guys, one that you probably haven't done before, unless you've been in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So it's something that I've utilized with my clients quite a bit, but it is a Tricon exercise, but it's a different version of my standard Tricon exercises. So make sure you check that one out. That's a phenomenal exercise. Also, before I get into this workout, if you haven't already picked up the Ripped in Six workouts, those are free, all right? They're six minute workouts. So six minute workouts designed to help you burn fat quickly. And again, going back to traveling, if you're traveling, this is something you can do on the road. It's something you can do at a park, in your hotel room, in a hotel gym. So you can do these workouts. So all you have to do is go to the link in the description below, click on that link, tell me you want them, and we'll send those directly to your email. With that said, let's get into the very first exercise. Let me grab a weight for this one. One of the ones I really like to do is an incline curl. All right, so an incline curl, again, if you're on the road, you don't have to have an incline bench. You can just lean in a chair as long as you're, the, the goal here is to get your elbow behind your body. If you're doing a standard curl, the elbow is right in line with your body, okay? So the goal with an incline is to get your elbow behind it. Now that your elbow is behind your body, it's gonna allow you to get a full stretch of the bicep. So that's what I want you to do. Now again, this whole workout's about using light weight. So I don't want you to do really high repetitions. I don't mean get a light weight and do 20 to 30 reps. This is why we're using the Tricon sets. So Tricons are your three explosive. So when you lift this weight, the first three, you're gonna do in an explosive motion, lower under control, explosively contract. So three of those, and then you're gonna have your three isometric holds. So again, if you haven't done tricons before, a beginner hold can be two to three seconds. Typically shoot for three seconds in an isometric position. Five to seven seconds is more intermediate. And then typically once you are comfortable doing tricons, I like three 10 second holds. All right, so that's six reps. The last three reps are going to be slow and under control reps. Three to four seconds down, three to four seconds up. So that may not sound difficult, but after you've already done the isometric holds, the explosive reps, then those super slow are no joke. All right, so let me show you what this looks like. Again, keep your elbow behind your body and make sure it stays there. In other words, when you're curling the weight up, you don't wanna shift your elbow forward. You wanna make sure your elbow stays behind your body. All right, so let's do this first set for you. Explode, thousand one, thousand two, nice under control. Explode, I like to hold that contraction for two seconds. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. And explode, that's your third. All right, so once we're here, now we're gonna bring this up right in this contr highly contracted position. All right, I like to get my pinky cranked out over my thumb. This is gonna give you a super pink contraction. And then again, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 10. That's gonna be your one hold. Keep it under control. Come right back, do it again. 10 full seconds. 1004, 1005, 1006. And really focus on squeezing your bicep as hard as possible, all right? Nice and under control, right back up. And when I mean squeeze it as hard, act like you're trying to impress somebody and someone's asking you to show them your bicep. Flex that and really hold that flex. Again, 10 seconds is more of the advanced. All right, and then you're gonna lower, and then we got our three super slow. So, 1001, 1002, 1003, four. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Almost done. Three, four. One, two, three, four. So those are your nine reps. So that is how you do a tricon set, all right? And again, you notice I'm squeezing really hard at the top of this movement. So just really make sure that sinks in that when you're squeezing here, that your elbow is still down behind your body because if your elbow is under your wrist, then that's taking a lot of tension off of your bicep. So you're not gonna get the same benefits. So you definitely wanna make sure your elbow is back when you're doing this exercise. I like doing this for your overall bicep especially the short head right on the inside, but we also want to make sure we're getting a wide bicep. So we want to work a brachialis muscle that's right under here, a little brachialis muscle. And to do that, we're going to use a hammer grip. That's basically just a neutral grip. So when your palm is forward, that's a supinated grip. If you keep your palms in towards your body, that is a neutral grip. So, or hammer grip position. All right, so for this, we're gonna do the same thing. Keep it slow and under control and try to pin your elbow to the side of your body and not allow it to move forward and back with these reps. So we're gonna do a hammer grip curl and we're gonna do tricons as well. So same thing, explode, lower under control. And again, a two second hold with each contraction. Once you get up here, thousand one, thousand two, squeezing hard. Nice full stretch, thousand one, thousand two. All right, three reps there, and then really squeeze it hard here. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow under control. Get it back up there. Thousand one, thousand two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, we got one more isometric hold. And again, nice full stretch at the bottom. You don't wanna shorten this range of motion. That's a one, three, four, five, six. You'll notice elbow right against my side. It's not forward. Six, and 10. Now they slow and under control. That's a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two more of those. Four. Three, four, one more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so those are your nine reps. So when you're seeing tricons, you're always wanting to shoot for those nine reps. The only thing that's gonna change is whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced lifter, and you're needing to do two second to three second holds, or five to seven second holds, or all the way up to the 10 second holds. All right, so those are gonna be the two bicep exercises you're gonna be focused on. Now we're gonna do a tricon exercise for triceps. This one, I know you haven't seen before, all right. So this is an iso stretch tricon exercise. So I created these, it's the same similar setup. Tricons are basically just triple contraction exercises, meaning shortening the muscle is concentric contractions, elongating or lengthening the muscle is eccentric, when you're keeping the muscle in a fixed position, yet it's still being contracted, that's an isometric contraction, all right? So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna do an isometric stretch. So basically, these are gonna be dumbbell overhead tricep extensions. And instead of doing a hold, an isometric hold in the shortened position like we usually do, we're gonna do this in the stretched position. So I'll show you what this looks like. So we're gonna start here Dumbbell overhead tricep extensions. Full stretch, contract. Full stretch, contract. First, those are your three reps, contract. All right, now we're gonna come down and get a full stretch, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. So you're doing your holds in the stretch position. Six, this is a loaded stretching. Straight back to the top. Come all the way back down. Really focus on holding that stretch. 1,001, 1,002. Allow that dumbbell to just drop and really get that good stretch in your triceps. 
nine, 10 straight up. One more hold. Again, three isometric holds. Then four, five, six, seven, that was nine, 10, straight back. Now we're gonna do super slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more. Four, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's how you do an ISO stretch, a Tricon ISO stretch. So this is gonna give you tremendous benefits. There's a lot of growth that can be made when you're doing loaded stretching. All right, so we're doing loaded stretching with the 10 second holds, and these are gonna complement the other exercises tremendously. All right, so once you've done your first exercise, we're gonna do a second tricep exercise. So we're gonna do another tricon tricep exercise. Now, the exercise I'm choosing, I typically don't recommend a lot with dumbbells if you're doing standard reps. However, these are tricon reps. So we're gonna do some dumbbell tricep kickbacks. So here's the thing, I'm gonna balance out my arms. I already did my right arm with the first exercise. We'll do my left arm with this exercise. So typically, I'll show you one tricep kickback and why I don't recommend these a lot. So we're in this position here. There's no tension going on in my tricep in this position. So once you bring the weight up, there's tension and there's a very shortened contraction. As you start dropping the weight, you start losing tension. So if you're doing tricep kickbacks, I typically recommend doing these on a cable system. With the cable, you're gonna get constant tension. So here's the benefit to doing this with a single light dumbbell though. If you're doing the three isometric holds, it's gonna feel significantly heavier than it actually is. This is only a 10 pound dumbbell, yet this is gonna be sufficient weight for good stimulation. So one of the things you really wanna focus on when you're doing these, get those elbows up, keep them a little above your back, keep your shoulders square, and then contract, Slow. Again, tricon, so the first three, two second contractions, that's a one, that's a two. Those are your three reps. Now we're gonna do our 10 second holds. That's a one, that's a two, that's a three, that's a four. Really focus on contracting and squeezing that tricep as hard as possible. Bring it down nice and slow. Straight back up. That's a one, two. You'll notice this weight feels a lot heavier than it actually is when you're using this Tricon technique. We'll do one more of those. 1002, 1003, 1004. But this makes a tricep kickback very efficient even with dumbbells when you're doing a Tricon set. All right, now you're three super slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Last one, four. All right, and yes, 10 pounds and my tricep is on fire. All right, so that is the key to doing all of these exercises is really hammering that isometric contraction and then every squeeze. So again, it's just not the 10 second or five second isometric holds where you're squeezing you're squeezing every single repetition, at least two seconds on every repetition. But then when you get into the Tricon holds, that's where those longer isometric holds are going to be. But this is a tremendous workout, only one dumbbell. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. With that said, thanks for watching. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.